Well, with new layers of protection at the federal level combating animal cruelty tonight, we are hearing from some animal advocates and what all of it really means for us here in East Tennessee. It all has to do with Congress recently okaying legislation that's now waiting on President Trump's signature. On Tuesday, the Senate passed the PACT Act, standing for Preventing Animal Cruelty and Torture. This legislation details that offenders would face felony charges with certain types of animal cruelty. Well, new here at 5 o'clock, WATE 6 on your side, reporter Laura Holm joining us now live here in the studio. So Laura, break down this bill for us. Well, there's still a lot to learn about how this legislation would work here in East Tennessee, but we do know the act would not interfere with local animal cruelty laws or enforcement. The pictures are all too familiar. A dog on its way to recovery after leaving an abusive home. <coughs> With the PACT Act, it allows for prosecution at a federal level for crushing, burning, drowning, suffocating, or impaling animals, as well as sexually exploiting them. Animal advocates in East Tennessee say this bill is exciting. I really think the message that this bill specifically uh, communicates is it's about holding people accountable. So we really want to be able to hold people accountable accountable both locally and at the state level just anybody who inflicts any type of harm and cruelty on an animal because locally we're the ones that take in those animals they are housed here and sheltered while any case like that is going through the judicial process we want to protect these animals we're the voice for these animals this legislation notes that offenders would face felony charges with fines and up to seven years in prison i think a rising tide lifts all boats when it comes to legislation in this so it really gives us the ability a that people are paying attention to this that uh, people are taking animal cruelty seriously animal advocates say this act brings local and state animal cruelty laws to the forefront I think they could definitely be strengthened we have a long way to go to really protect these animals uh, and and there are some we have made strides but there's still a great deal of work to do while there's still much to learn about how this legislation will work if it becomes law for us it's our mission it plays into our mission every day and so we're in the um, business of saving lives and we're in the business of protecting them now again at this point the pact act is waiting on president trump's signature we will of course continue to follow this and let you know what happens all right, Laura, thank you so much. And you may recall back in 2016, Tennessee lawmakers created an online yeah. animal abuse registry. Yeah, TBI listing on its website anyone convicted of an animal abuse offense for two to five years.